Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Castlevania playthrough for the LP League. I am Matt from Matt's LP Adventures. I am Ryzen 51, the Angel of Light. Hey there, guys. I'm Sonic Ghost. And I'm Anthony Unique. And we're playing the NES Castlevania. Probably one of the <laughs> most... One of the most hardest games on NES library. It's not as hard as Castlevania 3. Don't remind me. It's That's probably the hardest, hardest from the original trilogy. Well, actually, I, w it w I wouldn't say that because I'll get into more detail about that, but I'm actually playing from, like, memory. Um, you guys probably see, like, a lot of advanced tactics in this playthrough. Well, I can see you remember the money. Like, I remember where a lot of points are and a lot of extra goodies are in this game because I've, I've played this about three or four times, um, two completion three or four times. So, it's actually kind of, I've kind of remembered everything. But Castlevania on NES is kind of really, kind of really difficult, <laughs> I would say, because, well, Simon, the character you're playing as, goes in a strut animation, and it goes really slow, and another thing that's really hard about this game is his jump. His jump is kind of gimped in a way where it's just like it goes... If you jump in a direction, you are dedicated to that jump. You can't change in midair. Yeah, so. that's my basic point about the control. It's very, very stiff. They fixed this in Castlevania 4 on the Super Nintendo. Yeah, All they three had, Castlevania uh, games on the SNES... I mean, uh, uh, the NES are very stiff. And there's a lot of stupid things that happen here with hit detection. Like, you're walking up those stairs and you got hit. Yep. That's <laughs> not... That's not right. Um... I will have to say this for anybody who hasn't played this game. Uh, hearts, I mean, you're probably wondering why I'm whipping all the candles. That's where most of your points are going to come from. And and also, there's wall chicken. <laughs> very, very, uh, actually, that, that, that's called a pork chop in the manual. I'm sorry, I meant to say yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Get your pork chops in the walls. Mostly healthy. Mostly. <laughs> um, I'm whipping the candles because they either, one, drop money, which is points. Uh, drop hearts, which is your ammunition. I know it's weird. Or they'll drop, you know, random pickups like hey, the hearts. At least in this game, you know, a little bit better than what they are in Kid Icarus. Kid Icarus is their currency. That's weird. Uh, yeah, it makes no sense how the original has just hearts as money. Um, you get power ups, and power ups use hearts as ammunition for using them. <laughs> obviously, I'm I have the clock right now, which stops time momentarily. But yeah, this game's kind of hard. Uh, not as hard as, as Castlevania 3. Castlevania 3 is a lot harder. Yeah. And oh, I went, man. And, and I will not say that this is the hardest game on NES. It's either a tie between Ninja Gaiden 3 or Battletoads. That's honestly... Uh, I'll be sure not to touch that game, then. But this is the first boss. It's a gigantic bad... Uh, this is going to be a really short playthrough, I should mention that, because, well, it's an NES game, Yo, so. Yeah, Castlevania 1's very short. If you know what you're doing, you can beat it in, like, half an hour. Yeah. Um, the bat shouldn't give you too much trouble, if you, especially if you have the axe. The axe, uh, you throw it upwards in an arc angle, so you should be able to hit him just fine. It's funny, I find, like, the axe and the, the stopwatch are probably the two best sub-weapons for this, because if you get the bat close enough to the stairs, you can just freeze time and wail on him. Oh, yeah. I guess you did, yeah. The yeah, you, you can do that. I've done that in a playthrough or two. Like, the farthest I've ever gotten in this game was probably level four. And I just stopped, because it's just... This game gets... Well, <laughs> it gets, for, it's for kinda... uh, the throwing a random pun here, bat shit insane. Because there's a bat right there. <laughs> hey, bat. Right when I got to at least a Grim Reaper, I, I was... Yeah, that, that's probably the hardest level in the game. Oh, gosh. Oh. The one that Dracula's will have worse... I mean, two hours just to probably be it with Saints Lady. Yeah, that, that's hard just because of all the, the enemies that are in both, both the trip over the Dracula and then the one to the death have the exact same problem with Deuce Heads. I actually used the save state in this playthrough one time, and that was literally just to stop a recording. Yeah, I didn't, you played this legit the entire I time. I played this legit oh, yeah. the entire time. Yeah, this is a big difference. Yeah, I, you're playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, I, which allows you to do kind it. Of, it's kind of funny, it's like... Um, I'll probably be the one tackling the harder ga harder NES games in the, in the like for the channel because I actually kind of really I kind of really like it. It's really stressful for me, but you know what? I was I I, I really like it for some reason. Like, I'm just used to playing. I think these the hard only NES games. hard NES games I really played besides like the Mega Man series was even though it's the Super Nintendo version. Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. 
Oh. Because By the way, this... I, I grew uh, up with that uh, game. Hold on, hold on. This part, that, that part that I just went over, that is a dick placement of yes, everything. Yes, it is. Because I'm going to tell you right now, just because we came from the bottom, <laughs> when you change the screen and you fall down, you don't fall down to the last screen you were at. You die. That's a loss of life, even though it, um. like... Logic doesn't make sense for that way. So if I fell down that pit right there, even though I was just down there, that that results in a death. And we're introduced to probably the most annoying, one of the most annoying enemies in the yeah. game. I wouldn't say the these are heads. the most. I wouldn't say that these are the most annoying. That, that I have problem you just talked about. Funny enough, I think that was a big problem with a lot of old school Konami games because Contra has the same problem. Uh, like and that's made by Konami. Yeah, uh, just, just like Konami falling down pits. Dead. Yeah, Konami doesn't want you going back to the previous screen. I'd rather kill you before you can go back. <laughs> I'd like to actually play... I, I need to... You know one thing that irritates me? I cannot find... Con Contra's not on the Wii shop. No, Super C is, and same for Contra 3, but the first one isn't. If you have a 360, you can get the arcade version, but that's just the arcade version. If you're not a fan of that oh, one... I want the original Contra, though. Yeah, if you're not a fan of the, the arcade release of it, you're better off with the NES. It... I just think the NES version is a little bit easier to see because a tiny bit bigger screen size. Yeah. Uh, these enemies are bone towers, and they take I want to say grand total six hits to to, to hit kill. They, they they're annoying even with a fully powered up whip, which um you guys didn't see this. My I went through two power ups right at the beginning of the game. <laughs> uh, you start out your whip is really gimpy. It's really short. It has a really short we uh like reach to it. Um, the second is kind of a mid-tier, and then the third is the fully powered up whip, which is the ball and chain at the end. Um, it's actually kind of really good, a uh, really good whip. You need to get it all the way up. And we're on our second boss, and this boss is super easy. It's Medusa. Oh, jeez, kinda... this boss is a pushover with the stopwatch. You're yeah. a little premature here. It, a little premature, and you see how I'm breaking this boss? Yeah, the, the yeah. stopwatch stops her. <laughs> you just... Yeah, <laughs> it was like, yeah, this is that, that's a pushover. But that was a boss. That was a boss. Yes, that was the a boss. The first boss was a more challenge. The first boss hits you. This one didn't even move. Um, and one thing I've always thought was funny is this is supposed to be a you know gothic terror horror jo uh, game. Why is Medusa here? That's like Greek mythology. But uh, uh, that's another discussion of the day. But right here is probably the most annoying enemy in the game, Hunchbacks. I will oh, say yeah. that these guys are probably the most annoying um, enemy in the game. Weren't they re later renamed in certain Castlevania games to Fleeman? Because I, I know these guys yeah. as Fleeman more than Hunchbacks. Uh, they're called Hunchbacks in the original manual. But there's always there's a secret secret uh, pork chop you guys probably see these. Um, these skeletons can get really annoying because they throw these bones, and yeah, it's just yeah, some like of them are placed in really bad places, just like Hammer Bros. Yeah. This is terrible. I hate those stupid skeletons, and, and you'll see my rage with them at like level five. When we get to level five, that's when the skeletons become a jerk. Uh, yeah, definitely. That but, fell um, through the top platform. <laughs> Physics. Yeah. And you guys can oh, tell gosh. I didn't record this in 60 frames, unfortunately. Because <laughs> yeah. the flickers we'll make me visible. There, but, uh, these enemies. Um, if you come down here after you kill these stupid bluebirds, that's what their name is. I almost died there. If I yeah, fell down ooh. there, I would have died. If you come down here and kneel, there's a money hidden money bag right there. Yeah, you know a lot um, of the hidden money locations I've been telling. I know. I half of these I didn't know existed. <laughs> um, I will say this right now. When you get to, I want to say, 30,000 points, you get an extra life. And the next next one is, I think, 80,000 if I remember correct. It goes like in weird increments. But yeah, that's when you weird. hit 30,000 points, you get an extra life. If you hit like eighty thousand, you get this another one, and I've never lived to tell uh, lived a game over to get to that point because when you get a game over, your points reset obviously. So, yeah, uh, I don't know what's after eighty thousand. Oh. And that's a death. <laughs> we'll be seeing that a lot later. Yeah, this game is not forgiving oh, like at all. Of course not. It's the original Nintendo game. <laughs> yeah, it's Castlevania. Castlevania. Um, 
the second the second one's not it's, it's kind of forgiven but it's kind of not well the, i'd say the second game was the first metroidvania game basically it's the first time they tried to make that open world styled game didn't work well, because it was cryptic as all heck the third I'll be, game went back to this logic and bone towers just keep wailing on them just get a safe distance from them when they flash red they're about ready to shoot a fireball you can stop the fireball by whipping the fireball but they they move really fast too so you be careful that you can also duck and i do believe that dodges them but yeah it will um this is kind of weird because it says stage eight right now but we're on level three okay guys uh the stages are you know, like they're, each level has like two or three stages in it. Yeah, every time like we each open... stage number change, I believe that's them just trying to tell you that's a checkpoint. Yeah, that's a checkpoint. That's just another checkpoint. No, actually, you cannot crouch and dodge that. I was mistaken because I just saw the height of that thing. I, I was like, nope, you, you can't. Nope, you can't. <laughs> um, but yeah, like every time you open a door, I should say, is whenever the the checkpoint stage thing happens. This is. Bullshit. Yeah, this, this is. is ugh. This is another problem this game has is knockback. Every, <laughs> that was probably the best uh, shoe in to talk about that. Um, whenever you get hit, whenever you get hit in classic NES format, the character gets knocked back. And if you do this over a, if you do this over a pit, you can fall down the pit. And it's just like you had no control over that. That's, you had some lucky drops there though with the crosses. What? I yeah, know. I was going to those by each chance. Oh, those things I've been picking up, those are screen nukes. That They just get rid of all the enemies on the screen. Right. Oh, mummies. And we're on level 3 boss. These are the mummy men. Classic another horde character. And there's also a, a hidden pork chop right here if you need it. <laughs> Luckily, they don't care. <laughs> they just kind of wait for you to eat your meat. Uh, best strategy I can have, really say is you should have the holy water. Holy water would wreck these guys, but I didn't. So I just, I was like, eh. But you guys can see the kind of pattern their like bandages go in. If you just stand like real close to them, you'll miss it. So it's really not that hard. But that was the first three levels of Castlevania on the NES. In the next episode, we are going to be doing the next two. I know. Jump in difficulty, guys. This is where it gets really, it, it starts to hurt a little bit.